I didn't do a very good job there. Big old long reflection. Okay, this is uh, the last part, but I think I'm going to upload it. Um, on YouTube before I upload uh, all the other parts um, there was like 13 14 parts to this series but like I said I, I think I'm gonna upload this one because what I want to do is try to spark people's interest to watch the other parts of this video um, I mean of this footage because uh, this was uh, um, quite a few hours of footage um, getting all these optical effects that are occurring um, which tell me a lot in in my eyes um, and you know there's some interesting things that are occurring um, this towering this stretching um, this compression um, all of these things are occurring all at one time um, which is all in this band that you see uh, from the apparent horizon to this false horizon of a hard line on the top way way above this but you can see and compare if you go back through some of the videos and compare these uh this this halfway marker rack um the two channel markers to the left the channel marker to the right and you'll see that you know there's things that have changed there um it's a bit different um again you know I really want to spark people's interest in looking at this evidence because to me this is evidence that um, refraction isn't pulling anything up if, if anything it's it's hiding it within these uh, within this band of illusion this band of this deception um, there's always this area um, whether I mean sometimes like I say I get really really good visibility and I can see water going well beyond um, uh, and above, like say the Bayport bird rack with boats on that horizon line. Yes, they're distorted, but they are boats on that horizon line. But this just goes to show how um, this band is causing these effects. And this band can be skinnier, um, it can be uh, wider, thicker, um, all depending on the weather conditions. Um, and when this band is uh, real thin, it causes this compression, which will make the boats look like they're being smashed into the water. I mean, you look at this boat, it's being towered. I mean, it's towering. Um, it's being stretched out uh, above. So this, um, you know, it, it even could be a big pocket of warm air has moved in or cold air is moving in as um, the light from the sun uh, departs away from us and this cooler air kind of takes its place or warmer air um, you know usually it starts getting cooler this time of the year in, in February uh, especially the beginning of February um, so I look at that as um, very much uh, part of these conditions um, light also um, here I changed the contrast up a little bit so you, you know it's gonna start getting darker and darker so I wanted to change the contrast and the brightness so you could actually see this band and see um, these islands here and what occurs to them what happens to them um, and again you know I always think that these are important observations and sure, I, I could cut the crap out of all of this and make this into a really short video. Um, but I don't know if I would get my point across or really 
to sh I, I mean, show evidence towards uh, uh, my opinion of what I'm explaining. Um, again, when I compare these to some of my other videos where I see obviously that this water extends further back with bird, I mean, with boats on them, um, without the mirroring. Um, I always see a little bit of mirroring further out on the horizon. Um, so that mirroring effect or that compression can be compressed uh, up high where if you have the right visibility limits, you'll be able to see water going well beyond what you should be able to if we lived on this spinning ball. Although, um, this is towering I mean even look at the the one bird rack closer to that little split that I'm always talking about uh, where you see that little chunk of land in between there that bird rack apparently seems to stay the same size while because um, this bird rack is in or this channel marker is in the Bayport channel where this is Hernando Beach channel further back so it's gotten into that band, or that band has come toward it, um, causing these islands to tower, to stretch. And when you see the footage from the P-1000, um, you'll kind of see um, what I'm talking about, um, how this band is actually bigger. When I first got there and set up my P-1000, um, there was Fata Morgana going on above these islands and I thought it was I, I thought it was land I was seeing beyond these islands but when I looked at it again I'm like oh no this is Fatim Fata Morgana um, you know perfectly um, obviously at a short distance too from me it's the this island is not like it's you know 20 miles away and you see a big ship with a um, you know mirror image above uh, above the ship of itself um, um, I most of the time get the mirror image below but again uh, I wanted to put this at five times speed a big chunk of it and you'll see as this uh, upper line changes gets higher uh, you'll see these uh, channel markers to the left of that uh, halfway marker rack um, you'll see them stretch up and stretch back down um, and, and this is important to me because this is showing compression um, <laughs> this is showing the towering that is also caused by possible um, well the mirroring effect would be below it and right here you're actually seeing the rack obviously in the water um, with water extending beyond it um, that you cannot see because it's caught in this this band of deception um, and I'm hoping I'm making sense to people um, it is really hard to put words to this um, you know and to put math to this would be virtually impossible in my eyes especially living in Florida and doing all these observations and seeing all these different effects occur all at one time is amazing to me for one and then look at this gap again um, look at how tall um, how much this is being towered um, but yet like I say that rack or that channel marker in the Bayport channel is pretty much staying the same size now again to end this uh, I backed out wanted to end it with just a little beautiful sight that you'll see here it's only a couple of minutes long um, but you can see the reflection of the sky and the water you see how calm it is uh, over to the left and how rough it is here there is a slight breeze um, and this is what I love is watching all these birds fly off all these seagulls and you know I always I would say to myself well why are you flying out to sea uh, when you need a place to, uh, you know, sleep or rest or whatever birds do when they're, when it gets dark. Uh, but apparently they go out there and they land on those bird racks. Uh, I mean, I was out one night filming uh, the Bayport rack 
and all of a sudden the light went out and I, I was wondering why but then I realized a lot of these birds go, go flying out there especially the cormorants and they'll uh, cormorant, cormorants um, they're uh, uh, they're almost like a duck but they got a long neck they get up there and poop all over the rack and uh, they'll sit on top of that light and totally block it out or there'll be so many of them up there they'll totally block that light out um, the light doesn't extend too much higher up than the top of the rack um, so again I wanted to kind of show this beautiful sight how you can see even the horizon kind of changes due to the light uh, being casted upon it what little bit of light is left um, how it gives you almost the illusion of an arc but always remember folks we do see in a circle so yes there would be uh, an arc within a circle right and that circle that we're going to see if we look all the way around us and we had perfect visibility we'd have a perfect circle around us but that isn't what we get so we get this uh, um, circle that's out of proportion almost like what the sun does when it gets to the horizon when it flattens out sometimes uh, and it gives you this uh, um, actual true nature of how the sun is actually vanishing going to the vanishing point um, and not actually going over the curvature of earth the curvature of Earth is an illusion caused by these optical effects that um, I pretty much have a lot of evidence for that if one wants to they can go back through my videos and find an abundance of evidence that will support the flat Earth. Thanks for watching.